and welcome to part two of our little video series on Hikvision's IP PoE video intercom generation two. So this is our second video. We recommend if you haven't seen the introduction, you check it out. It's just uh, going to be telling you what's coming up in the series and the, the basic setup. But on today's video, we're going to be um, downloading IVMS 4200, which is the software client we're going to need uh, to make all the changes and everything like that. And but then we're going to quickly activate the devices and en enable DHCP so they can all communicate with each other, uh, add the devices to the main menu and then set the time. So then we're ready to go for whatever configuration of uh, intercom we, we want to do. Okay, so we'll, we'll quickly show you the items we're adding today. It's just we're going to be adding a, just a single doorbell, door station and a single indoor screen. Okay, so this is just connected sim via a simple PoE switch. Check out the first video, like I said, how to set it up. It's really basic. Um, we're, not, we're not going into that in this today. We're just going to be talking about the software and getting the, the basic modules enabled. Okay, so where should we start off with IVMS? Okay, so just go to the Higvision website for I and Google IVMS 4200. Okay, and we can download it here. It's the first one, not the AC version. All right, um, but I've downloaded a version already, so we can cancel this. Um, just save a bit of time start installing it yes okay just like any other bit of software click on everything to install that's fine okay that's installing so IVMS is a very handy piece of software you could do a lot on it you can uh, view your CCTV on there as well if you have that and you can do m many configurations uh, and it's also the client software so if you've got a big flat with a receptionist or some or a business and they want to update the fobs uh, our, our users, delete users, all that stuff, they will have to do it through IVMS 4200. But don't worry, we will have a video at the end of the series on how to add users, delete users, add more fobs and all that stuff. So don't worry, we've got it all covered. Uh, but today we're just doing some basics. So let's just launch the client and get started. Okay. Okay, here it is. Okay, yes, we want to enable it just in case there's an update. Okay, so let's create a super user. I uh, call it just my name. Put in a password. And we can log in. Okay, I don't think we want to do, we don't need the password protection. I was asking us for it anyway. We could just put in anything. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. You obviously can set this guys up later. We just want to log in for now. All right, so we're into the main menu. Okay, we, you can run the wizard, but we're not going to. Okay, auto backup. Okay, you can do that, but we're just going to cancel that for now. And let's just show you the main the main view. Okay, so if you've got CCTV, you can see the main live view here. You can view playback here. Um, a few extra features here. Uh, we're looking at access control though. So this is where you pit persons, where you, this is where we'll be adding clients later. Uh, and access control, if you've got um, an automatic door, we can set that up. We're going to be doing fobs and all that stuff. Right now though, we're going to just do some basic setups and we're going to add the devices which we've just plugged into our system. For the, so for this, we go to the right and go device management. Okay, so right now we've got nothing. And we're going to go to online devices up here and find out what's going on. All right, so down here, we'll see it's found two inactive devices. Inactive means it's brand new, no password, no nothing, just like out the box. Okay, and what we have here is this is our wireless uh, indoor screen. And this is our outdoor door station. Okay, so first of all, we're going to activate them. And we'll just do them one at a time. Okay, so we go activate. We put in a password. Okay, this is the one password that we'll be using a lot. So just create one simple password that you guys can remember and you'll be using it for most of the majority of the items. Okay, the devices. Okay, so now it's activated. And we're gonna activate the, the door station as well. Same password. Okay. That's activated, and now we're going to go enable DHCP. So this changes the IP to a local IP, so it can it can find its job. So it's literally just click on DHCP, put in the same password you just entered. Okay, that's done. 
Okay, so you see now on the left here we've got it's completely changed the IP to a local IP. Okay, so we'll do the same for here. Okay. And we've got two local IPs now, so they'll be able to find each other nice and easy. Okay, so now all we have to do is add them to our main device menu here, and then we can start um, editing them, selling, configuring our, our devices, our doorbells, all that stuff. Okay, so let's go add. So this is our wireless screen, so we're going to call this um, indoor Wi Fi screen. Good thing is about the Wi-Fi screen is it still has PoE on it, so you can use it both ways. Uh, just in case you're it's a bit of a far corner or something to get to, and you can't wire it in. The same password as always, guys. And just click on synchronize time. Now we got add. Okay, perfect. That's when we see it online. That means it's, it's found the device. Everything's good. If we do the same here with our door station, so we can call this. Door station. Okay, it's already put admin, but put in the password again and synchronize the time. Add. All right, now it's found both of our devices. Okay, we're quickly just gonna click on this cog icon and set the time to UK time and select NTP so it automatically uh, gets the time from uh, from the internet. Okay, so under here we go time settings at the top. Okay, oh, I've already set it to UK time. We go to NTP and we click on save. Okay, great. And then we go to our Wi Fi station. Go to time. Okay, so it's Beijing time, so we're just going to set it to UK time, enable NTP, save. All right, then, guys, so we've now added our, our devices to our software. The already is now to be configured. The time is set. The, the IP is uh, ready to go and as you see at the bottom here we're gonna now going to be doing basic configurations like a single unit, a single station, uh, we're going to have a Wi-Fi screen, one uh, flat with three apartments, three separate apartments using a name tag module, uh, we're going to do keypads and card fobs and all that stuff so stay tuned guys and we've got some great videos coming up and I hopefully see you soon. Thanks, bye!